Hello and welcome. This is the next video in a series of quick videos that we are creating to answer some common questions that have come up from time to time regarding IPTV. Specifically, how to start an IPTV business of some kind, whether it's for specialized content or more of the traditional service provider. This video is an introduction to the streaming server. I will discuss all functionality and features as it relates to this component of the IPTV solution. In the previous videos, we discussed the IPTV infrastructure as a whole. Each component plays a critical role in the capture, ingestion, delivery, and management of content over an IP network. In this video, we will focus on the middleware portion as it pertains to the streaming server. So, what is a streaming server? Well, the streaming server has several important functions. It will provide stream redistribution. It handles unicast or multicast stream distribution. It also does subscriber authorization and stream encryption. So the streaming server offers stream distribution in a specialized way. Um, it provides this redistribution functionality that will reduce the load to the original content server and optimize bandwidth utilization. The streaming server will receive streams from this online services and redistribute them to subscribers. Because redundant connections to the original server are eliminated, the load of such servers is reduced and bandwidth utilization is optimized. If one streaming server reaches the limit of its subscriber connections, the streaming server will shift traffic to alternative servers to allow transparent flow and management of load balancing. The streaming server is designed to deliver high quality video streaming over broadband wireline and wireless IP network. The streaming server will support streaming of highly compressed MPEG-4 and H.264 video streams at very low bandwidth requirements. Such low bandwidth requirements enable providers to offer high quality video services to subscribers over standard cable, DSL, or wireless lines. The streaming server will support content distribution via either unicast or multicast connections. Now, unicast streaming is typically utilized in distributed network connections such as wide area networks where providers do not own local loop to subscribers. It is also the most universal distribution method as it allows content delivery to geographically dispersed subscribers. Unicast delivery can be sent as either a TCP stream with high quality and reduced capacity or a UDP stream which allows greater number of connections to the server but may result in reduced quality uh, in networks with high percentage of packet loss. Now for implementations in LAN environments the streaming server offers multicast content distribution. Multicast distribution allows one stream to be delivered to theoretically unlimited number of LAN subscribers with very low bandwidth utilization. In a multicad mode, each media packet is sent once in a broadcast fashion so that each subscriber can receive it without creating an individual link to the subscriber. This in turn optimizes the bandwidth utilization. So IPTV st streaming servers enable subscribers to prevent the unauthorized use of content streaming of streaming content. Before granting access to content, the streaming server utilizes a billing server to authenticate and authorize subscribers in real time. Additionally, the streaming server will encrypt all content streams utilizing an algorithm which allows only authorized subscribers to access the streaming content. Another important feature of the streaming server is time shifting. Now time shifting refers to the time delay rebroadcast of a channel. Often when deploying an IPTV system, 
channels are captured in the country of origin. This can create a problem when viewers are located in another time zone. To alleviate this problem, a streaming server with time shifting capability can be deployed. This server can delay the delivery of content up to 23 hours so that viewers throughout the world can watch their prime time content during their associated prime time. This is a very important feature when offering IPTV services throughout different geolocations. In summary, the streaming server provides the following functionality. Stream redistribution, unicast or multicast distribution, subscriber authorization, stream encryption, and time shifting. I thank you for watching this video and please be sure to check out our other videos as we go through the entire IPTV solution. Have a good day.